Hi, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I have new videos uploading. I would appreciate that. Also, today's video is part of a collaboration with some of my creative friends in the Jamie Ray Vintage Creative Business Coaching Group. So the playlist link is listed in the description box below. Be sure to check out those videos and subscribe to their channels as well. So today I'm gonna to be doing a furniture flip for you. Actually, two flips, two chairs that I was given that are in need of a makeover, and I couldn't decide which way to go style-wise, so I'm doing one of each, one in boho and one in cottage farmhouse. I really love both styles. I love boho for its fun colors and patterns, and I love the cottage farmhouse style for its clean simplicity. So I really couldn't decide which way to go, so I'm doing one of each. Let's see what you think. Let's get started. These two chairs were given to me, and as you can see, they are in need of a makeover. I'll be doing one of these chairs in a boho style and the other in cottage farmhouse. I start by carefully removing the seats so I'm able to pull out all the old fabric that was stuck underneath. I give them a good cleaning with TSP. I like the phosphate free. You mix it with water, spray it on, wipe it off, and then wipe it off one more time with a clean wet rag. Okay, let's get started with this makeover. So I'm gonna start with this chair and it's gonna be the one that I do in the cottage farmhouse style. I knew from the age of the wood and the color that it was Definitely going to have bleed through with me using such a light color of paint, so I gave it a good coat of shellac. And I give it one coat of the DIY paint color called Tarnished Pearl. I wasn't concerned about full coverage on this project because I wanted it to have the farmhouse cottage style and look a little worn and faded. I let this dry and then I assessed whether I would need any more shellac. There were a few spots of bleed through that came through as a brown stain, so I used the shellac to touch up those areas. And then I gave those spots one more coat of the tarnished pearl. A coat of DIY paint clear wax followed by a coat of DIY dark wax. The DIY paint dark wax is great for giving age to a project and giving that time-worn look. And I was ready to move on to making the cushion. Here I'm using a painter's drop cloth type material as the cover for my cushion and I'm stenciling it with the JRV stencil called Paris Bow Label. Again, you can find all the products I'm using here today on my website, mamabearblue.com. I'm using the new JRV stencil brush called the number one and the DIY paint color weathered wood to stencil. I load up the brush and offload quite a bit stencil onto the fabric. I recently made a video on how to make drop cloth pillows with the same stenciling technique. If you want to check it out, I will put a link in the description box below. I used a foam cushion that I purchased at Joanne Fabric and cut it to fit the wood seat. I then put the drop cloth over it, turned it over carefully, and began to staple the fabric back on. When I'm doing this, I leave my corners for last. I will finish this cushion up with Scotchgard fabric protector to make it easier to wipe off. I reattach the seat to the chair and stay tuned till the end to see the finished project. Okay, next up is this chair and it's the one getting the boho makeover. As with a lot of my projects when I start, I don't really know exactly what I want to do. 
On this, I started out with a coat of old school. And then I decided because it was boho, I needed to use lots of fun colors and maybe try some blending and stenciling. So that's what I'm gonna do. And here's my husband giving me a little bit of help on these chairs. Now I'm gonna get started on the blending. When I'm blending, I like to load up my brush with a few different colors and use plenty of water from my Water Girl Mist Bottle. I just layer on the paint and keep going until I like the look. I decided to stencil the seat and the back of the chair in the color cake batter mixed with some copper patina called Pennies from Heaven. I'm using the JRV stencil called Harlequin or Diamond Pattern. And I'm using some of the leftover paint that was in the brush to give the chair a little bit of highlight. DIY Paint recently came out with these pigment powders called Making Powders. So I decided to add a little bit to clear wax. It didn't take very much and as you can see it made a very fun yellow wax and I put a coat of that over the entire chair. These making powders come in so many pretty, vibrant colors. You can use them to make watercolors, add to your wax, or make a new color of paint. Be sure to check them out on my website, mamabearblue.com. I thought this project needed just a little more depth and age, so I used the DIY Paint Dark Wax and gave it a quick coat and wiped it back. And here's the finished projects. So what do you think? Do you like the boho style? Or are you more of a cottage farmhouse fan? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below and be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. And be sure to check out the collaboration playlist link in the description box below.